so this is about a tyrant uh, dominating old man oldest in the family head of the family who uh, dominates us humiliates us uh, working against us and uh, uh, bribing outsiders americans mobile company uh, that uh, uh, was with uh, the charlu oil company in charja now uh, i don't know what god is doing uh, he's old hamari jawaniya hamara bachpan uh, aisa kharab kiya i don't know god is allowing uh, this old man in his old age also uh, my mother poor mother died sayed zina died without seeing her son get well uh, what he did to my mother his mother did uh, killing fara my first uh, baby girl sister in infancy so my grand aunt who had taken care of my mother i've been calling her and her devi her devi used to give gems gems used to fall from the air uh and then she would give it to people that's how when my brother was uh ill very ill in the ice cube uh, bathroom tub i mean sorry a tub full of ice cube uh he was kept in a, a children hospital so uh this uh man who was given this gem by devi zera aunty's devi he put his uh, he had it in his ring and he kind of uh, uh, you know uh, uh the thing encircled it on my brother and then my brother got well and so uh my father had gone to hazrat abbas's it was hazrat abbas's night muharram or something majlis so my father went there and uh, anyways my brother got well but this is about my grand aunt zehra aunty she had brought up my mother so i don't think my grand aunt wanted my mother to get married so early 13 years and you can see her picture my mother on my mother's wedding night uh, her eyes are kind of te- uh, tearful and she looks sad so uh, she i think she wanted my mother to get proper education grow up and then get married but she may have accepted it however then the uh, my mother's infant daughter died first born uh so then she left and then uh, i wondered my mother always spoke so highly of her and lovingly of her grand aunt zehra but they never uh, exchanged uh, letters or phone calls and she only came once to karachi and then once to in london to london to see us and uh, whenever i couldn't see my mother's condition uh so you uh, some people started to blame me but i didn't have the heart because uh i mean i couldn't although some people blame me that uh, i'm not taking good care of my mother i was there under the, we were under the same roof but i couldn't see my mother's condition uh they can uh sorry uh someone out there some european uh some one who has a heart who can help out uh, uh, uh you know my mother's uh, sons and i was telling my brother also um and i would tell my sons not to touch any girl 
be committed, sincere, and these kind of moral humanitarian uh, advices I'm going to give. And I'm going to be very strict, even against my, uh, my sons, <gasps> because uh, I've never uh, thought of, dreamt of, uh, that, you know, uh, even giving wrong advice, wrong advice, dignified, be dignified and all this, uh, I, I, I just cannot take uh, my son, my brothers touching another woman, uh, another's daughter. Can you imagine? And these people who claim to be Shia Muslims. So it's very shocking for me uh, because once you are a Shia Muslim, then commit and uh, uh, don't touch another woman, mother's daughter. Otherwise, why listen to all these nohas and go for BP sign up? Uh, you know, so uh, some of these cousins uh, who have slept with Americans uh, without commitment, uh, they, one of them didn't have time to scratch, scratch his ha head, but sorry to say he had time to like uh, touch an American woman, a divorcee. So uh, don't think here God has changed his thing. Don't think that I'm spilling out uh, their gunas, sins, uh, that I will be taking it on myself. No. Um, actually, I'm Radha Rani. And even if I was a common person, uh, God would understand. People may not understand. And this thing of uh, spilling out others' uh, sins uh, would, uh, I mean, I'm not malicious or anything. I'm just uh, saying this out of uh, good intentions. My intentions are always pure. And so I'm giving these de details to s just give you a glimpse of how shocking it is. Uh, the people, the men I loved would not dare touch me in the wrong way. And my sons uh, would dare not. I'm going to make them so decent and so true. Uh, dare not touch another mother's uh, daughter or another sister's sister. Uh, we just can't go on uh, saying that we are Muslims, especially Shia Muslims, and uh, go, uh, you know, there's so much in Islam. You can have temporary marriage uh, if uh, you can't commit for a lifetime. And uh, so God has given us uh, ways uh, for our desires and those uh, desires which we can't handle. Although in Hindu, the, these uh, desires can be handled. If we go to a true guru, and uh, uh, if you think that I'm bringing out these family matters, well, um, just picture, face, just see this. Uh, how the witch has wanted, and is from my family, eldest uncle of mine, uh, from my father's family, uh, has wanted us to be disgraced in front of people, isolated, how uh, my mother, no one could stay in our house, no servant, and then praying, and how disgraceful. And uh, he knew uh, that uh, on the phone he's told me when I was in Karachi that you would be clapping and uh, what laughing on the streets of Karachi uh, if something happens to your father. And uh, the New Age people and the Christians can say forgive. Forgive your enemies. But 
uh, you know, in the Bible, it says that uh, uh, the person will not be forgiven if he hurts the Holy Spirit or does something against the Holy Spirit. And so uh, Jesus Christ said, I would send a comforter. And uh, Prophet Muhammad wasalam, was the comforter. Um, so uh, you can, uh, you know, some of the Bible verses you can uh, tally or uh, the thing with the Quran verses. Uh, every prophet has uh, given evidence of the coming of a new prophet after his death. I mean, yeah. So before dying, he has given evidence and said something in parables, sometimes indirectly uh, or even directly, but indirectly, uh, of uh, the coming prophet. And this is how I've brought the Bible, the Comforter, and the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So uh, Yazid will not be forgiven. And uh, those Shia Muslims who think they will be forgiven now, I'm sorry, uh, warnings have been given since ages. 